We know Polly Bond as a name and a face on award certificates, but there is much more to the woman whose life and work inspired Episcopal communicators to make her the example of excellence in church communications. Eleanor Hibbard Bond, known to everyone as Polly, went to work for the Diocese of Ohio in 1958, first as a volunteer and then as the first paid director of communications. She stayed for 21 years. Everyone knew and loved her. Her job description was wide-ranging. She produced a monthly newsletter and a bi-monthly newspaper, handled press relations, and coordinated the diocese's radio and television programming. She also served on diocesan committees that took her to Brazil and Tanzania. In 1971, Polly was one of 11 diocesan editors who formed a group called Net Plus to talk about how to improve communications within the church. She became one of the group's leaders and was committed to the creation of an independent Episcopal news service. In 1974, Net Plus became Episcopal Communicators, and Polly was a member of our first board of directors. In 1976, she was named to the board of the Episcopalian, the national newspaper that served the Episcopal Church from 1960 to 1990. She was also active in Associated Church Press and what is now known as the Religion Communications Council. In 1977, Polly was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and at her final Communicators Conference the following year, members established an award for Distinguished Service in Communications and named after her. They did so because she saw religious communication to be a very real part of being a Christian and inspired all of us to see its creation as part of a joyful profession. She died on March 11, 1979, just shy of her 65th birthday. Hundreds crowded into Trinity Cathedral in Cleveland for her funeral, which had as its theme Polly's personal motto, Celebrate Life. The Rev. Richard Anderson was also one of the original Net Plus members. He said that when the group was formed, Polly didn't concentrate on issues and agendas. She was concerned with the formation of a community. He said she was a caring person, always quick to greet newcomers to any event. Ruth Nicastro, who for many years was Director of Communications for the Diocese of Los Angeles, said Polly's mission was to younger communicators like her. She would often call out of the blue and ask, How are you? What do you need today? And Ruth said that Polly was more fun than anybody, tossing her poncho over her shoulder while singing out, Celebrate Life! Polly died 35 years ago, but her legacy of professional excellence, collegiality, and community lives on in all of us. Thank you, Polly Bond for all you did to further the ministry of communications in the Episcopal Church and the fellowship we know as Episcopal communicators. May we always be worthy to follow in your footsteps.